Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make your own VR 3D machine. This is how it should be looking at the end. We're gonna make it from scratch, that's including the lenses. Not gonna take any effort in any time. Now let's enjoy doing that. We are gonna need a plastic bottle with a rounded top, two paper cups, few cover leads, and a permanent marker, drawing pen, a sharp knife, a scissor, some glue, a tape, and a pole full of water. And a first, to work we start on. by making the lenses. Why do you need lenses? The human eye has limited nearsight capability. That means that you cannot see objects from about 5 cm away. The magnifying lens makes your eye see the small and very near mobile screen as a very large and far away screen. The brain will eventually merge the two screens and give you the 3D image. First tip, we need to cut the top end of the bottle just to make things easy. I'm using a sharp knife now. I'm getting Top end is done, getting the lid area away now. Take care of using the sharp knife. Now it should be easy to handle. I'm gonna draw four circles using the lead cover and the permanent pen. Now with a permanent marker I've made a one circle there. I'm going to make four of them. I'm trying to be at the top edge, which has the best curvature. That will make better lenses. Now I'll use a scissor and cut around the four circles. Try to be neat as much as you can. Try and make it look like a circle. It's okay to trim a bit after you're done just to make it more circular. One down. Now, all the four are done. The tip of trimming there. Now I have four of these to make my two lenses. Now I'm putting a drop of glue. Get one of the four circles. Dip it inside the glue, all the sides of the circle. Turn it and dip it all, the, all around the sides of the circle, just to make the glue cover all the sides of the circle. And leave it to dry on top of the lead. Taking the next one, and I will do the same again. Dipping all sides, make sure that it's all covered with glue. Avoid the center of the lens because this is where you should avoid the glue. This should be clear. Now I'll put the second one to dry. Give them like 30 seconds. When they are a little bit sticky, I'm gonna... Stop! Put them you together. need to fill it with water! Why do you need water? Water and air are two different media. So when light passes through from air to water, it bends. Because the surface of water is like a sphere, it focuses the image. When it comes out to air again, it bends back to give your eyes the illusion of a far away large screen. To fill these with water, I'm gonna get the two sides, curved side facing up, under the water, and glue them under the water. Now they are filled with water, I'm tightening all the sides, Pushing the glue, making sure that it's tight, sealed, and 
hopefully no water will leak out. Again, I'm doing the same step, the second lens. All the sides again. Make sure you got a lot of glue on the sides and none in the middle. Leave to dry. Should take about 30 seconds to get sticky. Leave to dry. Curved side down. And again, under the water, glue the side together, tighten everything. As you see the previous circle, I've just left there. Now it should be tight enough. What happens if you had a bubble of air inside it? Well, a small bubble will hurt, but a big bubble will definitely obstruct your view. So if you have a small bubble, just put on the water, give gentle squeezes, and try to find where the air is coming out. When air comes out, water will come in. Put the air bubbles to the top, and squeeze small squeezes until it's filled with water. Now when it's all filled with water, make the tip up, the, up the, to the roof and put a point of glue just where it's leaking and that should be it. Now what happens if you got it squashed when you're managing it? Well that happens often, don't worry. If it got squashed and all the waters came out. The best idea is to get a small pen or a needle, just put it in between the lenses, keep it in, put under the water, push the squash side out, and now you got all the area filled with water again. Now get it out, move the pen, where, where you put the pen just put a little bit of glue, and again leave to dry. Now my two lenses are all ready, I will leave them to dry and I'm gonna put another point of glue there. Now I'm gonna put a second layer of glue making sure that it will stay watertight as much as I can. I will put the second layer now for the second lens. Again, avoid the center of the screen. Now each lens should have a great distance or an optimal distance between the lens and the, the screen. In this case, I measured the distance and I found that a five centimeter distance between the lens and the screen is optimal for a good vision. I'll keep that in mind. Now I'll go make the case. I will mark four points at the 3, 6, 9, and 12. Now I'm gonna take the lid at the one of the points. I'm gonna draw a circle. Now the circle is not complete, I'm just going to complete that. Now I'm going to draw a smaller circle, just a slightly smaller circle inside, even a few millimeters. This is where I'm going to put my lenses. And then at the sides there, between 3 and 6, or between 6 and 9, I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to do the same again on the okay. other that. Now, as you see, I've ended up with two sides there. The lines of the of the uh, of the nose where it should lie should be different between the two sides. So one between six and nine, one between three and six. This is how it should be looking like. 
Now I mark the five distance. You remember the five centimeters that I've just measured. This is the distance between the top and the screen. So I'm, I will mark the five distance, five centimeters. And I left an extra because there's an edge for the uh, paper cup. So again, five centimeters. And I'm marking all around. Now, once I've done the marking, I'm just going to draw a line connecting all these marks. Same for the other one. Five centimeter distance between the top and the screen. This is what I'm going to mark and connect everything. Now, using a sharp knife, I'm going to cut the smaller circle that I've drawn on the top. This is where my lens is going to lie. And I'm going to cut the area where I've drawn between the 3 and 6 or 6 and 9 and take this part away as well. Now this is where the nose is going to lie. This is how it should like, look like. Now I'm doing the same for the other one. Again, using a sharp knife and I should end up with something looking like that. Now I will make a small incision at the five centimeters and I'm going to use my scissor and cut all around. Try and keep the excess as neat as you can because we're going to need that later. Now I cut that. Do the same for the other one. Should end up with these. Now I'm going to bend the nose area. Now put the fingers inside the, the cup and Push against your fingers. Again, doing the same. Put your fingers inside and push against your fingers. Now, depending on the side of the mobile that you have, if you have a, a large mobile, it's better to put this configuration that way. If you have a small mobile, it's better to put the configuration that way so you have a smaller distance between the eyes. Now, I'm going to tape it from the back depending on the mobile size. Again, I'm using a bigger mobile, so I'm making the lenses away from each other. Tape from the back. Now I'm gonna put another tape to fix it from the top. And now I'm gonna take the mobile and put in the sides there. I'm gonna push the mobile to the table and mold the sides with my other hand to make it look like a triangle there both sides good molding then I'm gonna put the case again spread them apart and put the case let the case lie on the mobile get a tape and I'm gonna tape the side to the side the side to the side. Now I'm going to do the same for the other side. Again, the side to the side. Now for good stability, I'm going to Flip the sides and tape from inside out. So an extra tape from inside. Yeah, from inside to the side. And the other side. An extra tape from inside to the side. 
Now, when I flip them back, they should like look like that, so they have more stability when you put your phone. Now, the last step for the fixation, I'm going to put it in the back and put the tape there, pull them together, pull the sides together, and put a tape. And to make it less sticky, I'm going to bend it in the middle. I'm going to strengthen it with a tape around this tape. So I'm rolling around the tape just to make sure that it's not sticky from inside so it doesn't stick with the phone. And I'm taping this side. So I'm making sure that the tape stays where I left it. Now it should be a little bit more stable. Now waiting for the lenses, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue all around the parts there. Four drops around where I'm gonna put my lenses. I have a tissue there, I'm putting the lens, not pressing much, making sure that it's not wet. And put the lens in, in its place, again. Making sure that it's dry, and put the lens in their place. Leave them to dry, and there you go. Just put your mobile there. And you have your VR machine. I hope you enjoy that.